Good evening. I uh, decided to uh, show off the latest in kit model fashion. Instead of constantly looking for a rag to clean my brushes, I'm just going to wear one. Uh, my uh, stepson got me this uh, cool pocket watch, which has the Starfleet logo on it. So uh, this is like something uh, Dr. McCoy or Captain Picard would keep in his vest pocket. So thank you, Eduardo. Okay, so all kinds of goody things going on. Made a lot of progress on the uh, stagecoach today. Almost done with most of the harnesses. Had to fabricate a lot of parts. I'm into working with the little metal chains now, which is a total joy. Not, said no one ever. Um, you know, I have a bunch of these little needle nose pliers, like every model, like every model builder. And you know, you think these are really tiny point until you start dealing with these little chains and they look like gorilla hands coming in there. I'm like, whoa. Well, uh, but uh, I'm getting it done. And uh, I gotta admit though, this really is cool. And some of you guys have pointed out that uh, apparently a batch of these were run that were supposed to have two runner trees of, of parts and didn't, so which is why I only have half the parts I'm supposed to have, and apparently that was not an uncommon problem. So if I ever do this one again, I'm, I'm going to get, uh, probably just get two of them to make sure I have all the parts. And then uh, someone made an interesting uh, point just uh, a little while ago I was chatting with. He said, uh, he goes, yeah, you could also, if you have all your parts, you could do a six-horse team. And I was thinking, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, and uh, so... Uh, I, I, I realized something was bugging me about the diorama and I couldn't put my finger and I realized when I had laid that tree down that's supposed to be the roadblock, you know, the banditos got set up so the, the, the stage will stop. I had just laid it down and I realized, oh, wait a minute, when you lay a tree down, it doesn't just sit on its leaves. <clears throat> so I popped that up, shaved off the bottom, put it back down. Now it looks a little bit more like a, a, a failed small tree, which is uh, um, what I was going for. Uh, I thought about using like a real stick or something, but I was like, you know what, I've got all this model train stuff, uh, scenery stuff, and I make that look and it's a little more on scale and everything. Um, so anyway, uh, the, uh, what was it? somebody had sent me some, uh, a couple of folks had sent me some ideas about using kitty litter in, uh, as, as a cheap alternative when you're making dioramas, which I thought was cool, but some other folks have pointed out that there were some hazards to that, and I don't know if it was a joke or not, but apparently somebody said they'd use kitty litter on a diorama and their cat pooped on it. So, <laughs> I don't know if that was a joke or not, but I could see that happening. I know my cat would do it. And then she would look at me and go, clean it up. Uh, so, uh, let's see, uh, I, I if, I'll probably be taking this thing when I get it done to uh, to the owner, so probably this weekend or maybe after the weekend I'll be doing a night or two without any shows because I'll, I'll be on the road. Um, and of course, uh, when I get back I have the kit I want to do, the ODK kit. Um, a lot of folks have asked for a history video on the Squadron Shop and I actually emailed them, never heard back. but. I couldn't find anything on them, and then I actually, on their own website, found a very thorough history. They actually do have their history out there, so essentially I'm just rewriting their own information, taking out a few pieces, adding a few bits and bobs that I found here and there, but uh, hopefully this week I'll get out of history on the squadron shop. I know they're not actually a, a kit model company in the traditional sense, but they have been around uh, for for all, since the 60s and they've been an integral part of kit model building. I can remember ordering uh, uh, models from them uh, or, and, and reading their their uh, catalogs and for me it was more fun than reading the comics and you know you're reading the same models I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. Uh, you, you know I imagine most of us at some point really just enjoyed reading the catalogs. I mean getting a catalog in the mail was almost as much fun as getting a model in the mail and because uh, we were young and you know it, and it inspires the imagination and that's just a beautiful beautiful thing yeah. somebody kind of heard this before but somebody made a comment this morning a uh, key thing to be about being a, a model builder is you can grow old but you can't grow up and kind of like mission accomplished so well 
I have some family chores to take care of, so I'm going to cut this short. I just thought I'd give you a quick update. And uh, I want to thank everyone for the contributions and stuff and all the wonderful comments. And we will see you guys for some coffee in the morning. Have a pleasant evening.